Hey, what's up, guys? Hurricane combination forever here. And, um, been inactive. I went to Dallas for a week and, um, yeah, came back. So, uh, today, we will be talking about care tips. I mean, I changed my tank up and I'm going to tell you what basic purple pincher needs. The purple pincher is also known as the Caribbean or crab is the most common. Sorry. If you were to go up to a pet store and buy one, you'd probably be a purple pincher. Um you look around and a lot of people, you know, they buy those plastic crib cages. No. So first thing I'm gonna tell you is ten gallons. Ten gallons Say three hermit crabs maybe in there. I started with two, and two was fine. They never fought. They were great. Um, that was one of my first tanks right there. That's mine right there. But I uh, got this tank about three months, four months ago. It's an amazing tank. It's a 20 gall gallon line uh, long. I have two strawberries and two purple pinchers. They're not in here right now. Here's my fogger, it's not, or my humidifier is not hooked up right now. But, um, I got creative and I made one of these. It's like a plastic whole, um, container with water in it. And this is my salt water, and then there's my food, fresh apples cut up. Um, and a bunch of plants. You know, here's an outside view of it. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find one like that. Here's one. Yeah, um, this is a purple pincher. He's not very active. He's only out at night, really. Um, he's really dirty, as you can see. He's in salt water. He's way in there. Put him in the moss pit. And let's get started with the care tips. Okay. So first thing you want to do with crabs is, of course, get a big tank. 10, 20 gallons, good starter. Second thing you want, you don't want one crab. Hermit crabs are, don't really know. They could be social crabs. They could be whatever, you know, because they are not hermits and um, very social crabs. So you want two to three hermit crabs if you're starting. You could get more if you want, but I started with two. They look great. Right now I have four, two strawberries, two purple pinchers, and I'm getting another purple pincher. Um, third, you want a lot of shells. My rule is three per crab. There's one, two, three, four, five, five in here. It's not really, but, you know, my strawberries are in a different tank with different shells. So I only have that one in right now. Fourth off. You need salt water. Salt water is one of the biggest parts of your tank. And a lot of people, I remember when I started, I didn't have salt water. And that was stupid of me, but I didn't. You want fresh and salt, as you can see, I haven't filled this up yet. And uh, don't feed them pellets every day. Pellets are bad for them. Not bad. You can feed them pellets. Just not good for a regular basis. Here is a... Um, Fresh cut up apples. I just cut them for this video. Fifth off, you want a nice cave area. They they like to hide during the day, especially purple pinchers. This thing is about foot wide, I think, foot and a half wide. It's just a little cave tree area um, with a bunch of like ropey things around it. They love it. They sleep in it all the time. Here's a back view. There's one in there. Um, sixth off, e cutler. This is important. You buy this company. They're great. I've been using them forever. Fiber, very good. Mix the sand with it. And they love to dig. Actually, one of my hermit crabs are molting in this. And, you know, you can see um, my mixture right here. And I just put this in about 
half an inch in. See different colors like right here. It's a little lighter, but then it gets darker. That's because they're two different mixtures. Just put a half bag in, half an inch probably, maybe an inch more. Um, they like this coconut that you can climb on. This coconut uh, texture thing. Um, seventh, they like to climb things like this. You know, personally. This is good. I had this in my tank originally. If you go back to my first video, you'll see it. Pretty good. Now it's three up like that. And then climb wherever they want. It's not too high. You know, it was kind of a circus run if you did that. But I changed it to this long stick that goes up here. This one not stick. What was it? Again, um substrate I recommend six inches but I have strawberry hermit crabs of course so that may be a lot I would say minimum three inches I know a lot of people only put like half an inch in when they first get it but that's little kids you know I don't know a lot I used to do that so this is about you know I'll measure it right now Five and a half inches substrate. So yeah. So guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.